Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go and check out some of the sales prices for the week. Some of the things you guys have asked about and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, as soon as we come into Meyer here, I notice they have cantaloupes on sale for $2.79. Regular price on these, $3.49. So, a little bit of a deal. Still a great deal on corn in the husk. 20 cents a piece. Last week they were 10 cents a piece, so... Not as good of a deal, but I don't know how they can sell these for $4.99. I mean, you could just get these and uh, take, the, take them out of the husk. And you just saved a fortune. They do still have their cherries on sale, $3.99 a pound. We've been getting a lot of comments on these lately. A lot of people haven't been able to find them. They are finally starting to come in uh, everywhere around here. We didn't have them like a few weeks ago, but they're finally starting to come in, $3.99 a pound. They have the same sale going on this week on asparagus that they did last week. $1.87 a pound, regular price, $3.29 a pound, so good deal here. So unfortunately, strawberries are no longer on sale here at Meyer. However, the one pound strawberries are $2.65. The two pounds are $5.99. So you might as well just get two one pound packages and save you, save you about 60 cents there. So. Looks like the blackberries are on a little bit of a sale, $2.49 for a 6-ounce pack, regular price $2.89. Raspberry 6-ounce pack, keep going up, $3.19. Uh, the pine and blue blueberries did go down a little bit. They were $4.39 a couple weeks ago, now they're $3.99 regular price. They do have some organic 1-pound strawberries on sale this week, $2.99 a pound, regularly $3.99 a pound. Strawberries are in season, so that's why they're a little cheaper than usual but they had the two pounds last week for 2.99 which was a great deal um but some of the berries here they've got the organic pint of blueberries for 5.19 uh 5.19 each all these are regular price now uh 9.8 ounce of the jumbo blueberries which we get comments on from time to time 6.99 for almost 10 ounces I was wondering when we were going to get some southern peaches and uh, peaches from Georgia here, $1.59 a pound, regular price, only $1.79 a pound. We've been seeing peaches get really expensive lately. Uh, the white peaches over here are $2.99 a pound, but these Georgia peaches, I mean, they're fantastic. $1.79, $1.59 a pound, I still feel is a little much this time of season, but we heard that they did have uh, some frost down in Georgia over the winter time, which could have caused a lot of them to go bad so not too bad i guess a couple sales over here they have the bolt house farms 12 ounce package of carrots for $1.79 that is down from $2.19 and then they have the broccoli crowns still on sale for $1.29 we really like these uh, these are really good always fresh i don't like how they're in the bag like that but they're always pretty good regular price on these now is back up to $1.69 a piece so $1.29 is a good deal they look good Cauliflower has dropped a little bit here at Meyer. They were $3.49 before, now $3.29 regular price, but you definitely want to look through them. Make sure you find a good one. These ones look a little roughed up. Pineapples continue to go up in price. However, they're still $2.29 here at Meyer. We've seen them for $2.79, $2.89, and a lot of other places. Even Walmart's gotten pretty expensive, and those are the five pineapples, which I don't really care for. These are the Tropical Gold Dole Pineapples. Probably the best ones, $2.29 each. And the Honeydew Melons have dropped 20 cents in price. These were $4.99 forever, now $4.79. They have the Picasso Melons here, which we only usually see this time of year. Uh, and they are $3.99 each. These little personal watermelons, these are about the best that I've seen lately. And they are $3.99 now. These were $4.69 a piece just last week. So good to see the regular price drop on these. So for what grapes we can find, there has been, it's been far and few between, guys. They've been terrible looking. I mean, these red grapes right here, they don't even look red. The green grapes look okay. They are both $3.29 a pound. There's been a massive shortage on grapes lately. So $3.29 a pound. We saw where they went up at Meyer over $3 a pound. So I don't know. If you like grapes, when you find a deal on it, buy up a bunch. They do have their seedless watermelons on sale for $5.99. Pretty much the same price everywhere. Um, 
I gotta say, they do look pretty good. Regular price is only $6.99 right now, but that could change at any time. Uh, here in the, uh, about a month or two, they'll start going back up in price again. So you wanna make sure you pay attention to the uh, different sale prices. I remember someone had said that your organic bananas had gone up in at your mire, uh, up in Michigan, I believe you said. Um, still 69 cents a pound here. So hopefully they stay that. Uh, they do have the four pound navel oranges organic of the sun candy. Really good oranges here. Uh, $6.69 for a four pound bag, but these are organic. I do like to point out the bag to dole lettuce as we see them. We don't get them. We're not real big on bag to shredded lettuce. I don't know, just don't really, don't really care for it. But wanted to point out the sale for those of you who do. Uh, they kind of differ in prices depending on what you get here. $2.99 for some of them, $2.79 um, for most of them, and then $1.99 for like classic romaine. So a little bit of a sale on these this week. So if you go back to some of our videos from last year around this time, you will see all the terrible looking tomatoes that we had. I gotta say, they have made a course correction. These tomatoes look fantastic. I mean, gorgeous, every one of them. These are great. Also, some people were curious about our tomato tree back home, our cherry tomatoes. They are starting to come in full swing. Got a bunch of tomatoes. That plant is getting huge. Probably stands about that tall off the ground. I mean, it is it is really coming along here. Uh, premium greenhouse tomatoes, $2.49 a pound. Um, yeah, I mean, they're the same prices. I, I had hoped they'd come down some, but at least they look good. Uh, they have the tomatoes on the vine, though, on sale, $1.49 a pound. I gotta say, these look really good too. Uh, these are good ones too, the Sunset. They're always pretty good, really. Um, $1.49 a pound, that is down from $2.19 a pound. So, good deal on these. So I have a feeling onions are gonna be going back up in price again. Um, they do have the Vidalia onions, 88 cents a pound this week. Regular price on these has now shot up to $1.49 a pound. So, if you like the Vidalia onions, I recommend getting them now because 88 cents a pound, these are gonna fly off the shelves. And uh, these are hard, once these are gone, they're hard to come back in. The Vidalia ones, I don't, I don't know, like we've had some shortages of them, but it's been like that the last couple years. So they have the eight pound bags of the baking russet potatoes uh, for $9.99. These have gone up $1.50 in the last couple weeks um, <laughs> for whatever rhyme or reason, I don't know. but. Uh, the 10 pound bags of the regular rust potatoes are still $5.99. So, I mean, I would just get these. So, they do have the certified Angus beef ground round on sale this week for $4.99 a pound. Regular price, $6.99 a pound. We have been saying for weeks that hamburger and steak were going to be going up in price. Sure enough, if had regular price, $6.99, was $5.99. And, and this is Meyer. They usually have some good deals on meat. Not this week, on hamburger at least, but we'll keep our eye out. Yeah, some of it's getting really expensive. They do have the meat in the tube here. They have 93% lean, 81% lean, and 73% lean. This is on a buy one, get one, 50% off equal or lesser value. So these right here, the 93% lean are $6.99. 80-20 is... Uh, $5.49, but you buy one, you get one of equal or lesser value, 50% off. Not bad. Now here's a great deal. They do have the Porterhouse Steaks back on sale for $7.99 a pound. Regular price has gone up to $13.99 a pound like we said it would do. But they're still having a sale on it, $7.99 a pound. Guys, I know a couple of you on the channel here that are going to love this deal. Get to Meyer and buy them up because when this, this sale is going to end... And they're going to be $13.99 a pound. And I, I, I got to say, the meat quality here is fantastic. So if you happen to see where they are out of something, make sure you check the meat counter because they may have just not put any out yet. Uh, they have the pork shoulder butts on sale, $0.99 cents a pound. $0.99 cents a pound, that's a great deal. Regular price, $2.99 a pound now, which is a little much. Uh, but 99 cents a pound, that's, that's, all, that's what the regular price was like two years ago. Uh, maybe a little more, maybe $1.49 a pound, but we would always see sales on it. Um, but yeah, just make sure you always check with the meat counter because they may have it in the back and maybe just haven't put it out yet. 
I always like going over the different sales on meat here at Meyer because uh, it is like our favorite. Uh, really good meat quality chicken is fantastic. Uh, Meyer Family Pack Boneless Chicken Breast. Uh, buy one, get one 40% off. They have wings here. Uh, this says $3.49 a pound. I don't know if that includes wings. I think it's just the chicken breast. They may have just set those there. Uh, yes, this is only the chicken breast that is buy one, get one of equal or lesser value, 40% off. So it looks like they're getting wiped out of them here. But if you have them at your Meyer, the Johnsonville Brats, uh, mild or like Italian sausages, are in a buy one, get one 50, or 40% off, equal or lesser value. So it's a good deal. And they could have some in the back. I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask. It never hurts to ask. Um, but yeah, you can tell these, these probably got bought up on Sunday. Someone the other day had asked me if I knew what the True Goodness Organic uh, was. Well, it's different products that Meyer sells. This is like their organic options. Um, and they, you know, they're a little more pricey. But uh, you were talking about vegetables, or this is the frozen, but they do have canned, but I've kind of heard that the canned aren't as good. But the frozen vegetables, we've gotten great comments on. Uh, the chopped spinach here, I've tried that before, that's pretty good. Uh, I've tried another one, I think it was the, uh, the mixed vegetables, yeah, mixed vegetables. Good, but I don't know if it's any different. It doesn't taste any different than your conventional vegetables, but... Uh, and, the, and the conventional is a lot cheaper, but you know, I mean they do sell them and uh, that's true goodness um, Anything I've ever had by true goodness is a pretty good product. Oh My goodness potato pro frozen potato products keep going up too and now we're seeing the store brands go up $3.99 now for Meyer fries I mean, I don't know what's going on. Like, we saw them go up a little bit, little bit at Kroger, but not this much. Uh, let's see what Arita is. Okay, Arita is pretty much five sixty nine across the board. Five, five fifty nine for the waffle fries. Crinkle cut five fifty nine, five seventy nine at Kroger. But, geez, and I know someone on the channel that will be happy to see the uh, shoestring fries. But I know they haven't been able to get them at theirs up north, which is funny because Meyer is up north and. Michigan so you think you'd be able to but yeah these are uh, I don't know I don't know they just keep going up in price guys so I noticed they have the 12 packs of coca-cola pepsi or 7up products buy two get one free so buy two at $7.79 a piece get one free not that great of a deal but I did want to point out the sale for all the soda drinkers lots of pickles on sale this week they've got pretty much all of their Vlasic pickles on sale some with some extra deals buy four or more select uh, Conagra uh, products get two dollars two dollars off your next shopping trip so uh, anything that is made by uh, Canagra, which I guess Vlasic is, and I, I don't know a lot of products that were, you know, that are made from certain brands. So you may want to look that up before you come shopping to see if a lot of those are on the list of things you like to buy. Looks like Meyer pickles are on sale too. I really love the bread and butter ones. Uh, I've got a couple jars of them though, so I'm good to go. But dollar eighty-eight, not too bad. Meyer continues to get wiped out on distilled white vinegar. We went over this last week. Um, still out of the big ones. They are now out of the small ones and the medium-sized ones. Uh, no, well, they have a few of the medium-sized ones, but the big ones are gone and the small ones are gone. It looks like they're running low on apple cider vinegar, too. I only see two big things of it. Uh, they do have a lot of the brag over there, but it does get a little pricey. Meyer vegetables, canned vegetables, looks like they're taking a hit again. I mean, there's a lot missing from what there was last week, and that's with the prices going up. So there was a sale on these last week for 60 cents, what the regular price was a couple weeks ago. We saw they raised the price to 65 cents, but I agree with most of you. Not a big fan of Meyer canned vegetables. Um, yeah, I don't know. We like Del Monte, but we don't buy them here. We buy them at either Sam's Club or Costco, where we get them for a dollar. I don't know if Kroger still has theirs for a dollar. They were on sale uh, a couple weeks ago, so I don't know if they're still on sale. We'll check here in a couple days. 
Um, but yeah, if they're not on sale in a, in a grocery store, usually we'll go to Sam's Club or Costco when we need to stock up. But we're pretty well stocked on all of our canned vegetables here. But yeah, these prices keep going up, but people are buying them. Jessica is making meatloaf tonight, and this is the one that we use. The sweet brown sugar craft bar barbecue sauce. We have about half a bottle, but she needs a whole bottle and maybe a little more uh, to do it. And they're on sale, $1.49. Good to see they have some mayonnaise coming back in. This was very low um, on these last week. It's a little bit of a sale on Miracle Whip, $5.49 for the 30 ounce containers and Duke's mayonnaise. $4.39, even the regular price at $4.89 is pretty good because uh, it's a lot more than that at most stores. Uh, $6, some places $6.49. They've got the Kraft Mayo, $5.39. Like, it's crazy. I think it's crazy that Kraft is more expensive than Duke's. But uh, $5.39 for the Kraft Mayo. And I don't see any Hellman's. Oh, wait, here it is. Oh, they must have moved it, moved it over some. But yeah, they've got... Hellman's down here. I guess they didn't get it cheap here, though. $6.39 for that, but buy $15, get $5 off instantly. Lever Products excludes Lipton ready-to-drink tea. So they must be working out some deals with different manufacturers this week for some coupons. So you may want to look online and again and see which ones um, are good for you of the products you like to buy. Checking out some of the coffee sales here. No sales on Duncan, but they are part of this. Buy 12, save two on your next trip. Uh, buy $12 worth, save $2 on your next trip. Or buy $20, get $4 off on your next trip. So I'm not going to keep going over this, but ones that are over this coffee will apply to that. This is good until June 17th. So you have until Saturday uh, to get some of these deals. Uh, they've got that IHOP coffee still on sale for $6.99. They got the Costa Coffee ground for $6.99. That's two dollars off, not bad there. Got the Mick Cafe, which isn't on sale, but it is part of that savings deal. We'll just call it savings deal. No more sales on Pete's Coffee, which yeah, I don't know. $11.99 for that's a bit too much. Um, some of the Fredericks brand, but Fredericks by Meyer Premium brand. Uh, I only see one that has a sales sticker on it. it says till june 24th and this is a limited edition toasted marshmallow i don't know but it is part of that savings deal as well a little bit off of the bigger packages the ones that are 17.99 that are 32 ounces are down to 15.99 a little bit of a deal on the bigger packs of 18 ounce starbucks 10.99 down from 13.99 and they are part of this deal as well um the savings deal and then they have some the savings deal also applies to the Starbucks pots. Fredericks is not on sale um, on the pods, but they do have that savings deal. And they have this Costa Coffee uh, from uh, for $6.99 of the pods here. And you get 10 of them down from $8.99. Not many sales at all this week at Meijer. Um, it says $5.99. That is expired. That expired on the 10th. Um, th these were all $5.99 last week, so they must have just missed uh, peeling those stickers there. Um, they do have the Dunkin' Pods part of that savings deal, but not on sale. Not many sales at all. This is uh, They got the Tim Hortons still on sale. $6.99 on the pods. $5.79 on the pods for the 8 o'clock coffee. Uh, no sale on the Meyer coffee, but it does apply to that extra savings deal on your next trip. A couple of you were asking me to check out some prices on Instant Coffee. They do have the Folgers. Uh, this is the, what size is this? 12 ounces. 12 ounces for $7.99 down from $9.99, which you might as well get that one because uh, this one is 8 ounces for $6.99. They have the Nescafe, Classico, and the Decaf. Not on sale, but part of this savings deal as well. If you shop at Meijer a lot, I would recommend taking advantage of that. You'll save a little bit of money in the future. Um... Got some of the Taster's Choice, which is ridiculously expensive. I believe these are seven ounces each. Yep, seven ounces, ten dollars and forty-nine cents. Boy, that's got to be really good coffee to charge those prices. Folgers canisters are not on sale, but they are part of that savings deal as well. And that is going on until Saturday, June seventeenth. So you have until then to get it, and that does apply to the decaf. 
We do still have an Imperx deal until Saturday on Maxwell House, bringing the price down to $6.49 for their canisters of coffee, the bigger ones here. Uh, but that is with the Imperx at $6.49 with the dollar off. So you'd have to use their digital coupon, but it is $7.49 just on sale if you don't like using the digital coupons. They still have the Twinings teas on sale, and they say this is going to be good until July 1st. So we'll see what happens with that. But that is also, uh, or also they have the Celestial teas, which we get a lot of comments on, $2.99 down from $3.15. So not a huge savings. That sale goes on until Saturday. And here's the big one again. Uh, and this is until Saturday. I know we have a lot of Bigelow drinkers on the channel here, Bigelow tea drinkers. $2.79 down from $3.35. These are $3.99 at Kroger. So if you have a Meyer, I'd recommend buying these up before Saturday because uh, prices, and I have a feeling they're going to be going up again here at Meyer too. So uh, keep that in mind. So I saw this sale here. I know we have a lot of Prego sauce fans on the channel here. They got them three for five. That does include some of the Alfredo sauces, or the four cheese sauce anyway. Uh, yeah, it does include the Alfredo as well. Wow, this one's usually a little more expensive. Um, not much more, but yeah, all these are three for five. You do have to buy three of them, but it's a pretty good deal. Somebody asked if I could find some of the keto friendly uh baking mixes i don't know if this is what you were talking about but i came across these uh duncan hines i know it looks pretty good uh chewy fudge brownie here these are actually on a little bit of a sale normally 6.99 for these these are 5.99 uh, they've got the chocolate chip cookie mix 5.99 and the keto friendly classic yellow cake um cake mix that's what you said so there's the cake mix there and they've got the brownie mix a little bit of a deal this week well, I noticed the giant size Bisquick went up the 145 pancakes. These were $7.99, making them an amazing deal. Now it's pretty much like everywhere else. $9.99. Uh, some places a little more, but we get comments on this from time to time. I haven't even seen the big boxes in a while, so maybe that's what was happening. They went away and came back at a higher price. Uh, the 60 pancakes uh, mix is still $4.89, so I don't know. that one. At least that one didn't go up. They do have the Jiffy all-purpose baking mix here. Still $3.99. Okay, so they have Crisco on sale for $4.99, down from $6.99 for the canola, down from $6.29 of the pure vegetable. But look at this. What happened here? I uh, might have to look this up. Something happened to Meyer cooking oils. I wonder if there was a recall. I don't know. Um, but they are all gone, and this is very unusual. This was completely packed last week. So we'll have to find out what's going on with these. Someone had asked about Crisco shortening. They do have the bigger cans here for $9.99, a little bit cheaper than Kroger. Kroger's is $10.49, I believe. Someone pointed out they were $8.99 at Walmart. Uh, the smaller ones here, $4.69. And they do have the Meyer though, uh, same size as this big one here. It is 48 ounces, $6.29. I believe the Kroger one is $6.49, so not much more on Kroger. But just wanted to point those out. Somebody asked about it, wanted to point it out for you. Someone had asked if I'd seen any cornmeal, the Quaker cornmeal. Uh, yeah, we haven't had a problem with it, but not too surprised because uh, we did over a little over a year ago, and the price just keeps skyrocketing on these. Two ninety-five now. These used to be two nineteen, not that long ago here. So it's one of the cheaper places to get them now. Now it's the same as everywhere else, but I don't know if everywhere else they may be going up there too. We'll have to check uh, some of the different. Uh, Red, Bob's Red Mill flour here. Myers always seems to have quite a good selection. Never usually any sales on it, but at least they have it in. Here's that egg replacer we always get comments on. Um, $4.79 for that. But yeah, I don't know what's up with the, the cornmeal being so high in price there. But And that might be what's going on at your store. They, they go away, and then you'll see it come back at a higher price. Well, they got the King Arthur flour on sale here this week. Two dollars off, pretty much all of them. They got the whole wheat here, three ninety nine. All purpose flour, three ninety nine. Self rising flour, three ninety nine. Even the keto wheat here on a little bit of a sale. This is always really expensive, nine fifty nine for that, but eight ninety nine on sale. Some of the other sales up here too. Got the little two pounds, the organic ones here for three ninety nine. So the 10 pound bag of Meyer sugar remains the same, but the one that keeps going up in price is the four pound bags. 
This has gone up four weeks in a row, guys. It was 219, went up to 249, 279 last week, and now 299. And I'm willing to bet that Kroger's went up again, too. They kind of followed suit with each other. Uh, Kroger has been progressing the same way, so this may not be a store thing. This may just be, um, I don't know. I really don't know, but 299 now, uh, that's the highest I've seen it anywhere. Uh, Walmart being the second highest at 294. Um, looks like Domino Sugar finally went up here. This was 449 last week, 469 this week. Ugh, you know, this is stuff that we need, you know, to cook ourselves. Maybe too many people are cooking for themselves, so they're trying to raise the prices. I don't know, but it's getting ridiculous. Someone had left in an older video we did that grape jelly has been going up everywhere where you are. Uh, yeah, it just went up here. These were $3. Now they're $3.39. I just checked on this like two weeks ago. It was 3 bucks. So now the smaller ones here, they were $2.49 are now 269 and the 30 ounce ones here are 339 which was up from three dollars so i don't know 329 for these smuckers grape jelly grape jelly is really the only one people ask about uh some preserves sometimes they have the red raspberry preserves here 449 strawberry preserves for 279 so i don't know that could be because raspberries have gotten so expensive they do have some sales here on some smuckers jellies and jams a little bit of a sale here at Meyer on Hunt's tomatoes canned tomatoes here for five dollars you do have to buy for but it brings them down to a dollar 25 a piece it's pretty much a regular price everywhere else um but we've been getting comments on some canned tomato shortages canned tomato shortages again so we're gonna have to keep an eye on this again um this happened to us a few months ago well that was our trip to Meyer. Found some okay deals. Uh, a lot of that 50% off equal or lesser value. Not getting the buy one, get one free. Haven't seen any of those. The 40% off again. Bring your calculator when you come to Meyer. I, I don't, you know, we had some good sales there for a while. Um, it looks like some of those have gone away. A couple regular prices have dropped up front on some produce, which is good to see. How long it will stay there, I don't really know. Um, what I hate to see is a lot of the baking items, sugar, flour, stuff like flour hasn't gone up yet, but it's going to, um, sugar prices are going up again. Uh, I didn't see, I saw a couple things of salt. Um, there, there were a cut, they were working on a, uh, shelf and stuff right there. So I didn't want to get in their way, but there were a couple things of salt, which was good to see. A lot of you guys have been saying that there's been, uh, salt coming back in your stores, which is good. I had a feeling it would, but you know, we still, since we had none around here, I wanted to double check. We will be checking on that as we go around doing our rounds throughout the week. But guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is up.